having another chat today. What is it to be and feel actually sexy, beautiful, mysterious, feminine, all those stuff. Valentine's Day again here hit hard and we're gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna share any type of outfits here. Yes, you have a ton of videos on that on YouTube. We're gonna talk about whatever we see and feel as being sexy to us and how it can work against us if we really base out of that from other people's expectations and how we can bridge out of that. It's right here, right now. Let's dive right deep into it. Uh. <laughs> Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with you. Please don't get Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue de la Ami Canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yukasu. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. Before even getting any further, I'm Lady Tomo, personal style coach. I'm a passionate when it comes to helping creative women entrepreneurs uncover their authentic style so they can show up 10 times confident in their lives and the businesses. It's all start with you for going any further. And I take it really personally here, so just saying. What it is to be sexy? You're dressing up, you're preparing your Yourself, getting ready for that date and you are so so excited maybe finally you get the man of your dream at work or the guy at the coffee place or the guy from your gym class your trainer I mean I, wherever you're gonna find him you're really excited because finally you got a text let's go out let's have a nice dinner you know all that kind of stuff to sum it up he asks you out and to sum it up you think about it and to even make it better is this week for Valentine's Day. So what do you do and how do you feel? You want to feel beautiful, you want to feel sexy, you know, you know. Your husband, your partner in crime, your boyfriend, or you soon to start a new relationship. Make it pop and make it, you know, all magical, cute, sexy. When it comes to thinking being sexy, we as women, we want to feel it, but we really think about all those details about how we can dress up to channel it. You know what I mean? And I think human beings, they will have that tendency because they want to please to the other team. They want to please the person they really are interested about and they really take care or care about it even more. It actually becomes a problem when it comes to you thinking how the person is gonna perceive you more than you, how you're gonna perceive yourself. If you really put so much weight on other people's expectations and not so much on yourself, how you feel and how much confident you want to be and you start by thinking about it that way you're gonna feel uncomfortable in your clothes because if you want to be sexy or feel sexy like whatever you're gonna see on Pinterest or whatever you're gonna see on Instagram like over fitted dresses it's not even a part of you like at all you're gonna base yourself on those expectations because you see that they get attention from guys you want to have the same result it's all good the only problem is that in the way you see it there's a recipe behind it and maybe the guys you attract is not necessarily the guy you want to attract. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It comes to what we call a cognitive dissonance because you're wearing something based on other people's voices but not so much on your voice. And what I tend to hear a lot when it comes to I want to feel that kind of way, I want to connect with other people, it usually revolves around oh you know based on what I've heard, based on what I see from other people, they do this so I can do the same thing and then I'm gonna have the same result. Whatever you don't see is probably the thing that works the most aka their confidence, the way they earn it, and because it's probably their own personal authentic style, but it's not yours. So if it's not yours, doing the same thing they do is not gonna give you the same results. That's why I always say it starts with you. And it's not bad to think about how people can expect you to dress up. Because you're going to work, you have a dress code if you work in a corporate. If you go to a job interview, you have a certain dress code based on the type of job, based on the type of company, the company values. So you have expectations from everybody else. This is something that I call bridging. Yes, live with other people's expectations, but more so live with yourself as well. Sexy has, like I said, a lot of interpretations. An average Asian or average Korean Japanese guy is gonna see a cute girl as being sexy his own way. 
You know it because I've been obsessed with Asia. You know the culture. Literally, like I live there. Like it's crazy. Cute girl, innocent girl, as being really sexy and really attractive. Here in North America, it's gonna be another way where the more youthful you look, and sometimes the more younger you can look, the less woman you can be towards certain guys. They're gonna see that as you being cute, but it's not necessarily gonna be them being attracted to you the same way. In Europe, it's something revolving around the elegance, the sophistication, and really laid back, but with that kind of chic touch. It has to be a balance here. In Africa, we love sexy. It's all about showing off those curves because we have much more women having those curves than not having a lot of curves. It's okay, I can live with it. I'm accepting it, I embrace it now. Remember that wherever you live, there's different expectations. Imagine yourself leaving that country. Imagine yourself changing the city. This is gonna be another way of thinking. So you basing yourself 80% more onto other people's expectations and forgetting yourself a bit there, you're gonna have that sense of lust. You're gonna feel confusion, you're gonna feel overwhelmed, you're gonna feel anxious. You kind of lost the focus here because your focus was more on to other people than yourself. And when there's something changing in that you couldn't expect happening in your life, you are much more shook up. It takes you a lot more time to get back to it. So being sexy for somebody else or being sexy for that guy that you see in front of you that probably told you what he sees as being beautiful to him, it was not a part of you. It's not bad to try on. It's not bad to test new styles if it's not a part of you. Evolving goes through trying out, goes through exploring around, goes through playing around with different styles if it's something that's really important for you, especially if you're creative like me because I love expressing myself through whatever I have on me, part of my own identity. That's something you need to do for your own life when it comes to dressing sexy for the point, feeling sexy, feeling beautiful. Bodycon dress is, has never been a part of my style for the most part of my life. So the thing you need to think here is what about you? Who are you? What does sexy mean to you? So when you need to plan up an outfit to go to that day, a potential let's say, you need to think about you here because whatever he told you is bridging. So if you need to go to a restaurant where it's like maybe a really high class restaurant, you're not gonna go there in jeans. I mean, no, like not, like no, no, you can't do that for your life. Doesn't cut it, no, 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 you don't do it. Now when it comes to something a little bit more laid back, a cozy restaurant, for example, you can wear something in the middle. If you're laid back, wear something laid back along with a chic piece. Because again, here there's a way to play with something really dressed up and something really laid back. And I have an example here because my bottom I have my tuxedo pants that I love, adore, a ton. Classy. And then as part of my top I have something more fitted but with nice details around the shoulders. It's all florally. It's only the sexiest thing ever because I get to combine something feminine along with something masculine. Wherever you're gonna go, whoever you're gonna have in front of you. But start with you. Don't start with him expecting something from you. It's not about compromising your value and whatever you like for other people's expectations. It's all about balancing. Yeah, like it's a balance here. You need to balance everything. If you feel great in whatever you have in you, it's gonna see it, it's gonna smell it, I like it even more. And studies have shown that, but it's definitely more so about how you feel in that. That's something that a guy can pick up a lot more. If he really likes it, he's gonna remember it. I'm telling you, he's gonna remember. Your attitude, your energy, your confidence, your vibe, personality, and how it actually aligns with whatever you had on you, gonna be attracted to. And if he just sees what you have on you <laughs> and he doesn't try to go further than that, that should be the first and the last thing. On your perception of it and whatever you want to showcase to the world the most. So 
I hope you like it. I hope you're gonna have an amazing Valentine's Day. You're gonna see flowers on the subway, flowers on the metro, flowers on the buses, and probably flowers at work, most likely. Let me know what is your plan for Valentine's Day, and I'm so excited, so excited to know more about it. And of course, I'm gonna see you for my next video. It's gonna be all about um, intentional wardrobes and how you can make it efficient for your life. So. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about like style, about the confidence and about the whole mindset behind it. What was your takeaway from this video? J'espère que vous avez aimé. Je vous revoir pour ma prochaine vidéo. Puis n'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous avez aimé. Let me know what you like from this video the most. And of course, of course, like I say all the time, smile because it's free and contagious. Bye.